magnify you. I give you glory. I give you glory. Praise the Lord. Welcome to UK World Evangelism Church. My name is Bishop Simon. I really thank God for the privilege to come where you are with the word of the living God. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, is my Lord and my Savior. I have absolute confidence in who he is. He is my soon coming King. Wherever you are, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Have you met him? Have you known him? Have you discovered him? He has a plan for you. And that's the reason why I'm here, to preach and to testify and to bear witness that Jesus Christ, he is the Son of God. He died on the cross of Calvary. He was buried and he rose again. That faith in his name, in his word and his promises guarantees salvation and eternal life. There is no other way to access God except through Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the light, and no one cometh unto the Father except through him. If you are not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. If you are not born again, you cannot enter. So wherever you are, I want you to open your heart to receive the word of God. I want you to open your heart so that the word of God can come to you. I am here to bear witness. But also, I have received power from above to pray for the sick, and the sick will recover. I have received power through my faith in the word of God to decree things and things will be established, to break yokes and set the captives free. For the anointing that was on Jesus, the same anointing is upon the church, and I am a part of that church. I'm anointed for my service. So if you believe, all things are possible. Before I share the word of God with you and pray for you, let's worship together by a song in the name of Jesus. Sing it!
Welcome back to UK World Evangelism Church. I am excited. Thank the Lord for his goodness and mercy and love and kindness. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory to God. I want you to blow your trumpet wherever you are. We serve a God who will never fail. We serve a God that cannot fail. Our God is faithful, trustworthy all the time. Praise God Almighty. I believe that God is calling the church, every one of us, to maturity. God is calling us to rise above excitement, to rise above feeling and thinking, and come into the place of maturity in Christ Jesus. There is a deliberate plan from the kingdom of darkness to destroy the gifts of God, the gifts and the carriers of the gifts of God. The devil does not want God's manifestation through his gifts and his people. That's a deliberate attack to suppress the voice of God by the kingdom of darkness. So, we are required now individually to grow up and mature so that wherever you are, you will carry the fullness of Christ in you. Not babies to be tossed about by every wind and every craftiness of the sayings of men, but mature in Christ so that you know who you are and then you are not moved. Nothing shakes you. Sickness does not shake you. Poverty does not shake you. Things that are of the works of the enemy does not shake you because you are mature. You know who you are. Why is it necessary? Because it is the will of God. We must pursue the will of God. That's why the, 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 the scripture keep reminding us not to look on the things that are physical, but begin to look on the things that are not physical, even your faith in Christ Jesus. So the Lord wants you to grow up. He wants you to mature. In the book of Revelation, he said, if you are not hot or you are warm, he will spew you out of his mouth. Meaning that God doesn't want you to be in between. He doesn't want us to be yo-yo Christian. Today we feel good, tomorrow we don't feel good, no. He wants us to be rooted in the word of God. He wants us to be in communion on a daily basis with the Holy Spirit. He wants us to be strengthened with his might so that we may stand in the full stature of Christ. When Jesus was walking here on the planet Earth in his physical body, 
in his physical, natural body. When he was walking here on earth, nothing moved him. Not the wind of the sea, not the storms that raged. Not famine, not hunger, nothing troubled him. He was fully assured that he is the working plan of God on the planet earth. The same way he designed us to walk as the plan of God on the earth. So that through us, the glory of God be manifested on a daily basis. I want to read some scriptures from the book of Ephesians. What's the plan of God? What is it? Is the plan. But to each one of us, I'm reading Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 7. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ. It comes in measures. Where we are now as a church, we need to be desiring the full measure. Karabos Sandabahaya. But to each one of us, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, he says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. Now this he ascended. What does it mean? But that he also first descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might feel all things. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Remember that. He wants us to come to the fullness. Kapuria Masanda. Makatahaya. That we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine, craftiness, every wind of doctrine by the treachery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotted. But speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things unto him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to effective working by which every part does its share, causing growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. So, God designed that we should grow through the equipping of the gifts that he gave to the church so that we can come to a perfect man, the full stature of the fullness of him. That's the plan. He doesn't want you and I to be children, tossed about, crying like babies. You know, when babies are growing, if there is no milk, they will cry, eh, milk. Water, eh, water. Food, eh. God does not want us to operate with that nature. He wants us to come to the fullness of Christ, the full measure of Christ, maturity in Christ. He wants us to have the faith that Jesus himself possessed when he walked here on the planet Earth, the faith which he gave to the church before. He said to us in the book of John, chapter 17, as the Father has sent me, I am sending you. The glory which the Father has given to me, I give it to you. He said that all power has been given to me. Go ye therefore. These are his promises and this is the will of God for you. So, you are not to be acting and walking like a baby Christian who doesn't know his left and right. 
Healing is a bread for the children. Bread. He sent forth his word and his word healed them. Deliverance is of the Lord. He said unto you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world give, give I you peace. So the peace that you possess is not based on the elementary things of this world. The peace that we carry is not based on the elementary things of this world. The peace we possess is the peace of God. That which makes us immovable, unshakable. Nothing moves us. Can I say to you, grow up. And God is calling you and I to what? Grow up. So that our faith is not based on the material things of this life. Our faith is based on who Jesus Christ is and the finished work of Calvary. Praise God Almighty. Praise God Almighty. Again, on the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 from verse 19, I read, Now therefore you are no longer strangers, and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom the whole building being fitted together Grow into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are being built together for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. So we need the grace that God has given apostles. We need the grace that God has given the prophets, the evangelists, the grace that is upon the pastors, the grace that is upon the Teachers, we need it, and God has supplied it abundantly. Unlike before, grace has been made available from every angle. It depends which one that you want to switch on to. It depends which one you want to listen to. All over the world, God has raised up apostles, prophets. He has raised up evangelists, pastors, and teachers. And please, I want to let you know, don't be confused. Anything you see a false prophet, there are true prophets. If you see a false apostle, there are true apostles. Don't accept that all is bad. No, God has his own people. And if you have the spirit of God, you will be able to discern. When you hear the voice of a man or a woman speaking, you will know whether they are speaking of God or they are speaking of man. Don't allow yourself to be deceived because the devil is speaking evil against the gifts, the offices that God has established, the works that God has established. There are voices of deception and deception that the enemy is producing so that you may lose faith. The will of God is that through these offices, we be established, we be equipped, we be charged up, we will be edified until we come to the fullness, the full stature of Christ, maturity as believers, doing exploits for God. So if you don't open your mind and your heart to desire to be filled of God, you will be tossed about by every wind, every craftiness. You will be tossed about by the sayings of people. Set your mind on the promise and on the word of God and grow daily from level to level, from measure to measure to the fullness. Desire nothing less except to be like Jesus Christ. That is the level that God wants you to go. That is the example that God set to be like Jesus in all things. Then you look at Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 14. He said, for this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and on earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with mind through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, 
that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and the length and the depth and the height to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. How much? 10%? 20%? All the fullness of God. Karabo Salamande. Mm. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. To be filled with the fullness of God, maturity, growth, strength, power. God wants you to be filled with the fullness of God. God wants you to be strengthened with his mind, not strengthened with material things, but strengthened with the mind of God, the power of God, the love of God, the faith of God, the grace of God, all that God has given. He wants you to be full of them. He wants you to grow to maturity so that you can be an extension of the hand of God wherever you are, so that you can be the manifestation of the glory of God where you are. He doesn't want us to play jokes like we are playing. Some of us are playing childish play as we are playing. Grow up. Come to maturity. Let your faith be established on the word of God and the promises of God, not on the natural things of life. Let your faith be established on the word of God. Let the plan and purpose of God begin to hunger after it, begin to desire it, and begin to ask for it. Hallelujah to the living God. As I was praying this morning, asking God a few things before I come to this program, the Holy Ghost spoke to me. And I began to search for the word in the scripture. I read the book of Psalms 84, verse 11. This is the word of God to you. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. That's the word of the Lord. To you, there is no good thing, my brother, my sister. There is no good thing that the Lord will withhold from you when you begin to walk uprightly according to His promises and His will, according to His word. When you begin to live a life of the spirit of faith of Christ, there is no good thing that the Lord will withhold from you. In fact, everything we ever need, God has already given to us. He has already poured it out. He wants us to grow to the fullness of God, the fullness of Christ. All that God is, He wants us, the church, to manifest it to the planet Earth. Even to the extent that through us, principalities and powers, they will know the manifold wisdom of God. Through us. There are things the devil and the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness do not know. God wants us to manifest so they can look at us and say, Wow, this is the wisdom of God. For the Bible says, if the princes of this world had known, they would not have crucified the king of glory. Right now they attack us. They don't know that the more they attack us, the more Christ is being formed in us. To the extent that we are going to manifest supernatural giftings of God that the world has never ever perceived or seen. Grow up. No good thing with the Lord we told from those that walk uprightly. Nothing. So if you want healing, receive healing. 
You want prosperity? Receive it. If you want to receive protection, receive protection of the Lord. He is your shield. And he is a son in the time of darkness. He is your defense in time of trouble. Receive that provision that God makes. Receive the grace that God gives. Receive salvation by calling on the name of Jesus. Receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And the promises of God through Jesus Christ, they become yea and amen in your life for the glory of God. Your time has come. Receive in the name of Jesus. I break every yoke of darkness controlling your life. I destroy every yoke of sickness and death gold in your life. I lose you and disconnect you and I release you to the plan and purpose of God for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm excited for you. I'll be taking a short break and then I'm going to come back. I want to pray for you. I want to agree with you. I want to manifest the glory of God for your benefit. Karabo sindele brahakataya ribo shanto kobohono shalaba Braska la mando roboshetea. Makoskete rabala kuspradunia maradaya. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And the Lord give you peace. Whatever you are lacking, I release it as a miracle of God to you. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive the manifestation of the glory of God in your life. In the name of Jesus, I declare you blessed. And whoever God has blessed, no man can cause. You are blessed. Declare it over your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome back to UK World Evangelism Church. I am excited and ever thankful to God for the privilege to be a witness. Jesus said, and you shall be my witnesses. You shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and then to the uttermost parts of the earth. I thank God for the privilege he has given to me to preach and to teach his word with signs following. The Lord has taken me from nation to nation to preach and given me the privilege to speak from the television to reach as many as we receive our word of testimony of him. So wherever you are, such a time is your own time, is an opportunity. When you hear me teaching, preaching, when you come across this word, remember that I'm not here in my name. I am here in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I am here to bear witness of Him. I am here to testify. He is the same yesterday, He is the same today, and He is the same forever. What He did yesterday, He wants to do now. All that changes the situation around you is if you believe. If you believe all things are possible, the angel Gabriel said to Mary, 
you will conceive and bring forth a child, and they will call his name is Manuel. For God has decided to tabernacle with his people. Mary, in her natural mind, said to angel Gabriel, How can this be? I do not know a man. Powerful revelation. Mary was saying to the angel, According to the knowledge I possess as a human being, this is not possible. So there are things about you, according to your natural mind, it is not possible. According to your natural mind, you are thinking, you are feeling, your sight is not possible. Mary said to angel Gabriel, what you are speaking to me is not possible in the natural. Then the angel, I call angel Gabriel the information minister of God. Angel Gabriel said to her, the power of the Almighty, the power of the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. And when the Holy Spirit overshadows you, what you will conceive out of that shadow, that power, when the anointing of God comes upon you, there will be a conception. That will be the word of God, Jesus. And then while Mary was there meditating and meditating and saying, how can this be? How can Then Angel Gabriel said, your auntie Elizabeth, the one they call barren. Elizabeth has become a woman that has received a name. Human beings call her barren because she cannot bear a child. That's the name they gave to her. Your auntie Elizabeth, the one they call barren, she has now conceived also six months ago. So in her womb, now she is carrying a baby. Faith immediately leaped up in the heart of Mary. Mary looked at her and said, If what you are saying is true, then let it also be done to me according to your word. Angel departed and made a statement, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, not man. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. I am here in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I am here according to the promises that he made unto the church. I am here by the anointing that he has placed upon my life so that I can minister to you in the area of your need. The word of God said that if any one of us is sick, the book of James, let him call the elders and let them pray over him. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous a valid much. It produces results. Hallelujah. Acts of the Apostle, how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. I want to announce to you, God is with me. I want to announce to you, I am anointed of God to minister, to preach, and to pray for the sick, and to deliver the oppressed, and to open the doors for people to walk free. I have experienced these testimonies through my ministry. Therefore, I was reading in the book of Luke the story of the pool of Bethesda. The Bible says that there was a pool in Bethesda. At a given time, an angel will walk in and stir up the water. Whoever jumps into that stirring, God's heal. The Bible said one day Jesus came to that pool. And when he came to the pool, there was a man who has been waiting for his healing right there for 38 years. Jesus did not go to any other person. Jesus went to the man and said to him, will that be made whole? And the man replied to Jesus and said, I have no man. I have no man. When the water is stirred up, I have no one to push me into the water. That is my motivation for the miracle hour. I don't want you to say in your home, I have no man. I don't want you to say anything in your house, I have no man. So God has inspired me to come right into your home and pray for you. And believe God for your miracle, your signs and your wonder. Whatever you have as a desire, I want to agree with you. For the Bible says, whatsoever two or three shall agree, it shall be established for them. So I'm in the will of God for my life. Are you ready?
the telephone line is open. Pick your phone and call so that we can pray together. Why? Is the plan of God, is the will of God. I can't do it any other way. Hallelujah. So faith without works is dead. As you're hearing me, faith is coming to you. But as faith is coming to you, now act on your faith, walk on your faith, pick your phone and call. When you are calling, that is works. That's your action. Faith without action produces no result. If you just believe in your heart, but say nothing, but do nothing, or act nothing, you are just where we are. But if you desire for me to pray for you, pick your phone and call. I will pray for you now. And I'm going to believe God to move in your life like never before. To walk in your life like never before. To give you your miracle, your breakthrough, and then answer to your prayer. There are some of us that are confused right now in our mind, not knowing exactly what to do or how to respond to the things of life. I want to break that yoke of defeat and confusion in your mind and release the supernatural flow of the anointing of God into your life. I want to break resistance over your life. I want to break everything that is resisting you, stopping you, not allowing you to move into the area God has called you. We want to destroy stronghold. Strongholds that are holding your life. We want to pull them down and destroy them and remove you out of them. God wants to heal your body from sickness and disease. God wants to deliver you from financial poverty. God wants to set you free from confusion. Many of you are desiring to get married. You are confused. You don't know who. God wants to speak to your heart so that you can hear his voice clearly. This is the one I have set apart for you. This is the one. When you see that person, you will know that this is the one God has preserved for you. We want to break the yoke of singleness over your life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We want to break the yoke of what? Singleness. Because many of you want to get married, but every effort you have put in has produced no result. You are struggling, and you are reaching even a point of despair. You want to despair. You want to question, is God with me? God is with you. Why you encounter resistance and opposition is because of God. When God is in your life, the enemy will hate you. The enemy will like to stop you. So wherever you are, it is your faith that overcomes whatever the enemy throws on you. Anything that is standing against you, it is your faith that moves you into the arena of God's miraculous power. It is your faith that propels you to overcome the obstacles of life. It is your faith in the promise of the word of God. Faith without works is dead. Some of you right now, you don't know what to say about your immigration status. But I want to let you know, Jesus Christ is the way maker. He makes a way where there is no way. He is the way maker. Because Pradunia. When you stretch your hands to him, he will make a way for you. When you take a step of faith towards him, he will make a way for you. I am here to agree with you and to pray for you. Whatever area the enemy is playing, Yo-yo with you. Wherever area the enemy is trying to hinder, to stop you, I want to agree with you through prayer. Let's pray together. Let's call upon the name of the Lord together. And the Lord will answer you. As I was desiring to come on this program, I was in meditation. I was speaking to the Lord. I was asking a lot of things. The Lord spoke to, back to me by his spirit. And what he said is what I just read. Let me read it again for you. In the book of uh, Psalms 84. Mm. In fact, if you read the whole of that Psalm 84, you will be so amazed. <laughs> How lovely. I'm reading from verse 1. How lovely is your tabernacle, O Lord of hosts. 
my soul longs, yes, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found home, and the swallow nest for herself, where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They will still be praising you, Selah. Blessed is a man whose strength is in you, whose heart is set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the Becker, the valley of Becker, they make it a spring. The rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Selah. O God, behold our shield and look upon the face of your anointed. For a day in your court is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who trusts in you. The Lord gave me that scripture. There is no good thing. There is no good thing that the Lord will withhold from those that walk uprightly before him. So I want to agree with you, child of God. I want to agree with you. The area of need. Because God will not withhold from you anything that is good that you desire. Say God will supply all your needs. He will supply all your needs. How many? All your needs. God will supply all your needs according to his riches. Not according to this earthly economy. The God is full of things that he can cause things to happen to you. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Remember that. So whatever is your desire, whatever you hunger, have confidence in God. Have faith in God. Trust God in his promises. Do not look on the natural things. Do not consider the natural things. Do not look on the physical things. Look on the big and the greatness of the power of your God at work. Sometimes when I'm meditating, I remember the works of God. I remember how God can speak to a shepherd boy, Moses, by the Red Sea. Stretch your hand and divide the sea. God didn't say to Moses, I am going to divide the sea for you. But God said to him, Moses, you stretch your faith and command that sea to divide on your behalf. <laughs> for with God nothing shall be impossible so Moses have to believe God Moses have to take a step of faith because it is the will of God to walk through the natural human beings in order to manifest his glory in the natural God wants to manifest his glory but he's looking for who is willing to say yes Lord manifest through me I am here saying yes Lord Manifest through me. Heal your people that are watching. Heal those that are calling. Heal those that believe in your name. Yes, caller. Good morning, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. What do you want God to do for you? I just want God to intervene in the situation of our life. For God to intervene. Okay. Let's pray. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I have confidence. I have confidence in your word. In your word. In Jesus Christ. In the works of the Holy Spirit. In the works of the Holy Spirit. I declare with my mouth. I declare with my mouth. Divine intervention. In the affairs of my life. In the affairs of my life. I resist. Every walk of darkness. Every walk of darkness. I resist. Are you still there? Hello? Hello? It's like we lost you on the phone. All right. Father, I pray for that sister. She is asking divine intervention. Hello? I'm calling back. Hello? Hello, it went off. I'm calling back. All right. Stay on the phone and talk from the phone. Say with me, Hello. I destroy. Hello. Say, I destroy. I destroy. Every resistance. Every resistance. From the kingdom of darkness. I uproot. I uproot every stronghold. Every stronghold attacking my life. Attacking my life and my family. And my family. I command the heavens above me now to open. I command the heaven above me now to open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive favor. I receive, I receive open doors. I receive open doors. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I destroy every yoke of shame. I, I destroy every yoke of slave. Shame. Slave. In the name of Jesus. I receive, I destroy every yoke of shame in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name I prayed. In Jesus' mighty name I prayed. Amen. 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 As you have spoken out of your mouth, let it be done to you right now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Receive right now in the name of Jesus. I release the intervention of God over your life. I release your miracle. I receive, receive, receive. I release your breakthrough now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. It is well with you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory to God. I feel the anointing of God right here. Ooh, glory to God. Wherever you are, why we still have the time, you want to call in for prayer, call right now before the, the time run out. Call if you want me to pray for you in the name of Jesus. So the Lord spoke to me and said to me, there is no good thing that he will withhold from those who walk uprightly before him. So if there's areas of your life you are not walking upright, isolate them. Move away from that. Repent. Change course. Because there is no good thing that the Lord will withhold from those that love him, those that walk uprightly. God wants you to get married if you are desiring it. It's a good thing. God wants you to be delivered from immigration confusion. God wants you to be set free. Yes, scholar. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Sir. Good afternoon, yes. Yeah, I just want to call time for prayer. I just want you to pray for me and my family, my mom. Okay, what do you want God to do for you? I am just for healing for my mom and deliverance for the family. Stretch your hands to me. Yes, sir. Father, by the authority you have given to me as your servant. Mm -hmm. I release your healing power over mama. I release healing over your mother. I command the power of God to touch your mother. I cause the sickness in her body to go and leave her alone. 
In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover your family with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I cover your mother's health with the blood of Jesus. The blood of I cover your entire family with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I destroy every plan of the enemy against your household. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release the divine protection over you, over your family. Receive the protection of God. Receive the shield of God to defend you and to help you. I declare it is well with you. It is well with you. It is well with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Amen, tell Thank your you tell God. your mama that Bishop has prayed for her. Tell her. Yes, I'll do that. Sir. Thank you very much. God bless, God bless you. Sir. God will raise her from that sick bed. God will Amen, raise her. Sir. God will restore Amen. her. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wherever you are, pick your phone and call. Under this water that is stirred up. I love it. The man said that when the angel stirs up the water. The anointing of God is the water. When we stir the anointing, if you jump into the anointing, you get healed. And hello, caller. Hello, caller. Hello, Pastor. Bless you. How are you? Um, I'm not too. I'm, I'm not. Oh, I'm getting on, but I'm not too good at the moment. What do you want God to do for you now? Well, I need God to, to, to heal me, heal me in mind, in body, in my family, and in my life, and my, my whole, my spiritual life. I want you to say after me, say, it is well with me. It is well with me. It is well with my household. It is well with my household. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I reject every sickness. I reject every sickness. The enemy has thrown on my body. And the enemy has placed on my body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I disconnect my life. I disconnect my life. From sickness. From sickness. From confusion. From confusion. From worry and anxiety. Worry and anxiety. I disconnect myself. I disconnect myself. In the name of Jesus Christ. In, in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive the grace of God right now. I receive the grace of God right now. I receive the healing power of God right now. I receive the healing power of God right now. I declare I am healed now. I declare I am healed now. I claim my healing right now. I claim my healing right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I give you praise and honor. I give you praise and honor. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. I release the power of God over you now. I command the sickness in your body to leave you now. I destroy the yoke of darkness over your mind now. In Jesus' mighty name, receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be set free now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 God bless you, my dear sister. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. Wherever you are, our time is running like speed. Call quickly before the time finishes. If you want me to pray for you, call quickly. Call. Call. Don't miss your opportunity. Don't miss your time. Praise God Almighty. Wherever you are, God sent forth His word. And his word healed them. Remember that. Jesus said, I give you power over all the works of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. I love it. I love the promises of the word of God. When I read it, my spirit, my soul leaps for joy. Knowing that my hope is not based on the natural things of things around me. But it's based on the promise that God has made. And God is faithful. 
He said that even if we deny him, he cannot deny himself. God is faithful always. Praise God. We are coming to the end of this broadcast. I want to let you know, every one of you, I have prayed. If you have your doctor's instruction, make sure you follow that instruction. Let them confirm the healing power of God on your life. Let your doctor confirm it. Because Jesus said to the lepers, go show yourself to the priest. Let the priest confirm. Because that very day, the priest was the authority to confirm. So, if God heal you, let your doctor confirm it. Have faith in God. Have faith in his word. Have faith in his promises. And don't allow unbelief and doubt to come into your mind. God is faithful. God is trustworthy. God can do it again in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is saying to you, stand up, carry your bed, and walk. What did I say? Jesus is saying to you, stand up, carry your bed, and what? Walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you want to do anything with us, go to our website. If you want to support the work of this ministry, go to our website. Use your PayPal account and support what God is doing through us. Help us to stand firm and uphold the gospel of Jesus Christ and continue to declare it. If God put in your mind to do that, do it. If you want to call me, there's a number on the screen. Take that number. That number is direct to my desk. When I'm sitting on my desk, if you call or leave a message, I will call you back personally. If God asks you to do anything and be a partner with me and to share the gospel with me and to share in sowing and reaping with me, call me. Let's become partners. Two cannot work together except they be in agreement. Hallelujah. And as your partner, Jesus will recognize your activity and your works. Be rich in good works. May God bless you and keep you. May the God I serve cause his face to shine upon you. May God give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Jehovah Yahweh, let your name be glorified. Jehovah Yahweh, let your name be glorified.